r slash airbnb hosts. Khan Drumbum says. Guests abandoned dog, I want to keep him, they want him back. I manage listings for a family member, and one of them is a really low budget place that attracts a lot of low quality people. The latest guests exemplified that by abandoning their dog. When I arrived, he was in the garage barking. I also noticed he damaged the casing on the entry door from clawing at it so much. They didn't even leave him a bowl of water or food. My first thought was they were keeping him in there, to keep the place clean or something, forgot about him and left. I messaged immediately saying their dog is still here, left in the garage. I received a response of we know we already left, and will not be coming back. That kind of flawed me, and I responded, am I to assume then you've abandoned your dog here? No response. Fine by me. I really hit it off with the little guy. Golden Retriever. Probably somewhere between 2 and 4 years old. Very loving and friendly with people. We were basically best friends within 20 minutes. My old dog died a few years back. I brought him straight home and busted out his old bowls, and got him some wet slash dry mix. He sleeps in my bed, we go on daily walks at a nature trail, the dog park, meeting all my friends slash family. I thought I had a new dog. It wasn't reported to airbnb, didn't want some weird policy, that I have to do something like call animal control, tonight, almost 3 weeks later, we get a message saying hello we want our dog back. Where was he taken? My heart sank, because I don't want to give these pos their dog back to neglect, and probably abandon again when they decide, having a dog isn't convenient anymore. I really wanted to lay into them, and had this been a more informal arrangement I would. But, I'm not in a position to do that. I'm not sure the best way of going about this. I really hate lying to people, but this is a situation I feel, like I might sacrifice my morals for the best interest of my little buddy Henry, they named him Blaze, the poor thing wasn't even named right. I'd like to say something along the lines of as you abandoned your dog on our property, and did not respond to our last message, we were forced to call another party to remove the animal. We do not know where the animal is. If they ask who, I'll just say we called an individual who works with various animal rescues. If you'd like their number let me know. If they say yes, I'll give them a burner number for my own phone, and then tell them the dog was adopted to a family in Maine, all the way on the other corner of the country. Gold Comfortable 453 says. I'm sorry, but unfortunately, the dog ran off when I tried to get him to come with me. I would like to be paid for the damage your dog did to my garage. What is your mailing address, so I can forward the repair invoice? Momonan2021 says. They will definitely go away, if they think they are getting billed. Good thinking. Bird C Maple says. This is the winner. Any underscore Huckleberry7805 says. I think your plan is good. You absolutely should not give the dog back to those horrible people. If airbnb somehow gets involved you can show that you reached out to the guests to get their dog back to them and they refuse to cooperate. Moralan underscore v says. This. Under no circumstances should you give this dog back to these awful people. Holiday horse 427 says. It's very risky to make up this elaborate story with the burner phone. Just say that they said they didn't want the dog, and were abandoning it, so you called animal control. Tell them abandoning the dog was illegal, and you can't have illegal activity on your property. That might scare them into not pursuing it further. Don't position yourself as the only person who knows the contact number for the person who took the dog, sending them on a wild goose chase. You want to cut them off a sap. Don't post pics of your dog on social media, ever. Take the other poster's advice, to take him to a vet and establish ownership. Capt Blackfoot says. Was the message on the airbnb platform? I'd be tempted to just not respond, and see what happens next. Livellolove1016 says. 
just ignore it. Ock Improvement 5334 says. If the assholes try to file in small claims, op can how the judge the message where the admitted leaving and not coming back, and then those assholes will have to explain animal abandonment, which is a crime. Captain underscore pause underscore to two says. I'd take that dog to the vet to get his rabies vaccine with your info as the owner and have them check for a microchip. If he has one, update his info. If he doesn't, get him one and make sure to register it to you. The vet can help you with all of this. You have proof of them saying they abandoned the dog. I doubt you would have anything to worry about in terms of ownership. But never hurts to make sure you're solid in that department and the above will help with that. Sumpeter says. I second this. Same situation happened with my sister and her dog. The previous owners abused the dog, decided to abandon her, and then call my sister weeks later demanding the dog back. Police got involved, and they said, since my sister got her vaccines and a microchip there was nothing the previous owner, abuser, could do. She's now super loved, and happy under my sister's care. r slash airbnb hosts. Unique customer 8014 says. Guess who booked ice and staying there? A woman booked my house on shorter notice for 4 nights saying traveling for work and guess count 5. 5 guests showed up all men. I don't really care, except they keep turning the thermostat down really low like to 50 which is insane, especially in Texas, and maybe they don't understand that that's not how you get the house to cool down faster. Also after this incident I viewed the ring camera footage and they have left the front door open for extended periods of time. While home, but obviously explains why the house isn't cooling fast. When I noticed this last night I went ahead and locked my thermostat so you can't set it below 68. Again, I'm not trying to be cheap, but setting extremely low could literally damage the machine. The highs are in the 90s. Do I confront the person who booked, contact Airbnb support, or just let it slide? I think otherwise they just work construction all day and come back to sleep so it's not like they're partying or otherwise bad. They are now two nights in and there's two nights to go. Unique customer 8014 says. Update, sent this to person who booked, hey woman, who backslash underscore booked, I got an alert yesterday that the thermostat had been set to 50 degrees which seemed odd. So I reviewed the exterior porch camera and noticed a couple of things. First, it seems that you personally are not staying there as 5 men have been entering slash leaving the house. Unfortunately this is a violation of the Airbnb terms. In the future, please use Airbnb for work, to book business travel on behalf of someone else. Part of that means that. At least one person actually staying there needs to be on the reservation. When you said traveling for work I assumed you were part of the trip. Second, I noticed around, when the thermostat was set to 50, the front door was left open for an extended period of time. This combination is really damaging for HVAC equipment. I have since remotely set the thermostat not to be set below 68 degrees temporarily, since I can't communicate directly with those staying there. Thank you, me. Ralph1 says. You should have contacted support, as soon as you realized that the person who booked wasn't there. At this point, based on what you are saying I'd probably write it out and hope for the best, but in the future I would amend your house rules and your listing to make it absolutely clear that the person booking the room is the only person who will be allowed to physically check in. Capt Blackfoot says. When she said traveling for work did she book through Airbnb for work? This allows for a third party to book on behalf of someone else. If not, contact support so they can help the guests set things up correctly. Monocap says. I've had a person book a stay on behalf of other employees, but they bring this up unsolicited and provide the names of the people staying. Siavampire Reckon Yurt says. You did good locking the thermostat. Leaving the door open 
misusing the ack, and having a third person booking for them are bad signs. Hopefully they won't cause more problems. Nierin up says. I would have called support, and then kicked them out at the first sign, that this was a third party booking. Icewind Turkamingorn at underscore says. It's not uncommon for companies, to have someone in charge of arranging travel. The person who booked, might be the travel coordinator for the company. Spin Charm says. No need to confront. They likely have never learned about air conditioning. Send a message to the guest explaining, that the account locked out automatically to prevent damage, because it was running for an extended period, and would burn out, if left that way. Then explain that it was running nearly non-stop, because it was unable to cool effectively, because there were doors or windows open. Tell them that the air conditioning only works properly, if all doors and windows remain shut. That approach prevents finger pointing, defensive behavior, denial, and hostility while providing a way forward that works for everyone. And saves you getting hit on your ratings. You'll want to prevent this misunderstanding from recurring, so you should consider some way to inform arriving guests on using the A C. A small card on the wall next to the control would be hard to miss. Twelve three thumb says. Locked at thermostat. You, sir, are a trusting individual. Colon close bracket. Samanitary Athlon says. Message her asking clearly who these people are, and why they did not book. This is a third party booking. As such, it's a violation of your toss. They're also abusing your HVAC equipment, and leaving your unit vulnerable to a break in. You should terminate the stay. Manik Medman says. This is a learning moment. The thermostat is locked. It's solved. She's obviously booking for others as a work trip. It happens. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.